case I had that was really interesting to me was a patient of mine um, who's in a nursing facility, a patient in his mid 70s, and nurses sent off a urine culture. This was you know, without you know, reaching out to me or anything. They just the patient was symptomatic, so they routinely sent a culture, and uh, and just forwarded me the results. And so I got the results, called and checked that he was having symptoms, dysuria, frequency, and urgency. And the culture showed two different bacteria. And between the two bacteria, there was no oral agent listed that would cover both, both bacteria. So I actually put him on uh, one antibiotic for each, a course of Bactrim and a course of Macrobate to cover each of the two bacteria based on their mm -hmm. separate sensitivities. So when I got the guidance test back on him this time, it showed the same two bacteria, although somewhat lower colony counts than the initial culture, but the most interesting thing was that on the sensitivities, the pool sensitivity showed that in this situation, there was a single antibiotic, Augmentin, that was going to work for both bacteria according to the guidance test. And actually, interestingly, on the original panels, Augmentin wasn't tested against either of the bacteria because based on standard panels that are run against those bacteria, Augmentin wasn't even run. So here's a situation where I then put the man on Augmentin and he did improve, got better, and his UTI resolved within the week. So for me, that was a real great example of seeing how this pooled sensitivity and what you see when there's kind of this soup of bacteria can be different than the way the individual bacteria actually act. And this was a perfect example to me showing that, whereas you know you weren't you were not gonna have a successful outcome until you knew kind of how the bacteria interacted with each other. What happens with the culture is that they plate the urine, you know, on a regular plate and they grow out, eat every bacteria separately. And they then test antibiotic resistance patterns to each bacteria separately. The whole idea of guidance is the idea that there's actually a pooled sensitivity, you know, created by the way that different bacteria in your urine interact with each other which may be different than the individual sensitivities of each given bacteria. So whereas the routine culture had to just separate each and you do you know, each bacteria as an individual um, culture and sensitivity, the guidance looked at them as a whole and as the urine as a whole and tested what antibiotic would work based on that. If I treat according to what the guidance test is telling me, I have you know, very successful outcomes of clearing these infections that I think has been very helpful. Well, absolutely. I mean, the more precise our results, the, the more accurate we'll be in our diagnosis and treatment, the more we can cone down our treatment, use shorter courses, you know, fewer changes of courses of antibiotics so that we know we're treating correctly the first time. Um, then we're going to have a better outcome. We're going to use fewer total antibiotics, you know, hopefully create fewer resistant organisms and have less, less complications from overuse of antibiotics.